Britt Eklund, a name synonymous with 1970s cinema, first entered the film industry in her native Sweden before gaining international fame. Born on October 6, 1942, in Stockholm Eklund began her career on the small screen, but it was her big screen roles that truly catapulted her to stardom. One of Eklund's most iconic roles was in the 1974 film The Man with the Golden Gun, where she starred alongside Roger Moore as the Bond girl, Mary Goodnight. Her performance in the film cemented her status as a sex symbol and cemented her place in cinematic history, but Eklund's talents extended beyond just her looks. She was also a talented comedic actress, as evidenced by her role in the 1975 classic The Wicker Man. Her performance in the film, which has since become a cult classic, showcased her range and versatility as an actress. Throughout her career, Eklund appeared in numerous films and television shows, earning critical acclaim and a legion of fans. She became a household name, and her influence on popular culture is still felt today. Despite retiring from acting in the early 2000s, Eklund's legacy lives on. Her contributions to the film industry and her unforgettable performances continue to captivate audiences and inspire aspiring actors. Her impact on the industry is undeniable, and her name will always be remembered as one of the greats. Britt Eklund is a classic star, known for her work in both film and television. You might recognize her from movies like The Wicker Man or the popular TV show The Man from U.N.C.L.E. Do you have a cherished memory associated with Britt Eklund? Which work of hers do you hold closest to your heart? Perhaps you remember her iconic role in The Wicker Man, where she played the mysterious Willow. Or maybe you enjoyed her performance in The Man from U.N.C.L.E. as the charming and witty agent Helena Kurtz. Whatever your favorite Britt Eklund moment is, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout her career, Britt Eklund has given us many funny, shocking, and even sad moments. In this video, we'll dive into some of the most memorable moments from her life and career. So, keep watching to learn more about this classic star. Britt Eklund, a Swedish actress, was born in Stockholm on October 6, 1942. Her upbringing was working class, with her father a chief engineer and her mother a housewife. Despite this seemingly ordinary background, Eklund was drawn to the world of performing arts from a young age. As a child, Eklund was enamored with classic films and would often mimic the actresses she saw on screen. Her parents recognized her talent and enrolled her in dance and drama classes where she honed her skills and developed a love for acting. Eklund's early exposure to the craft came from her attendance at the Royal Dramatic Theatre in Stockholm. She was inspired by the talented actors she saw on stage and dreamed of one day joining their ranks. One of Eklund's key mentors was the renowned Swedish actress Mai Zetterling. Zetterling took Eklund under her wing and taught her the ins and outs of the acting world. Eklund has often credited Zetterling with helping her launch her career and shaping her into the actress she became. Another significant influence on Eklund was the American film industry. She was fascinated by the glamour and excitement of Hollywood and longed to be a part of it. Eklund's dreams came true when she was discovered by a Hollywood agent and offered a contract with 20th Century Fox. From there, Eklund's career took off, and she became a household name in both Sweden and the United States. Her early roles in films such as The Double Man and The Night They Raided Minsky's showcased her talent and versatility as an actress. In conclusion, Eklund's upbringing, early exposure to classic films, and mentorship from notable actors played a significant role in shaping her career as a successful actress. Britt Eklund, a Swedish-born actress, began her film career in the early 1960s. One of her earliest notable roles was in Breaking Point. She gained international fame for her role as a Bond girl. However, her career spans far beyond these two films. In Get Carter, Eklund starred alongside Michael Caine, showcasing her ability to hold her own against established actors. She also appeared in the British comedy The Wicker Man, which has since become a cult classic. For those new to Eklund's work, the night they raided Minsky's is a good starting point. This film, set in the early 1900s, allows Eklund to showcase her comedic timing and dancing skills. Another must-watch is The Swedish Love Story, a romantic drama that highlights her dramatic range. Eklund also made her mark on television. She starred in the series The Naked Runner and The Hostage Tower. In the 1990s, she appeared in several episodes of the popular series The Comish. In recent years, Eklund has continued to act appearing in films like Charlie's Angels Full Throttle and Scoop. She also wrote her autobiography, True Brit, in 1980. In conclusion, Brit Eklund's filmography is diverse, 
and impressive with roles in films and television shows that span decades. Whether you're a fan of comedy, drama, or action, there's something in Eklund's body of work for everyone. As a child, Britt Eklund was always drawn to the enchanting world of cinema. She would spend hours watching movies, captivated by the glamour and the stories that unfolded on the screen. However, it was a chance encounter with a famous Swedish actor that ignited her passion for acting. One day, while attending a party with her parents, the young Brit found herself in the company of this esteemed actor. He took notice of her lively spirit and engaging personality and encouraged her to pursue a career in acting. His words resonated with Brit, and she began to envision herself as a part of this magical world. Brit's dreams became reality when she was discovered by a film director at the age of 19. She was cast in a leading role in a Swedish film, and her natural talent and charisma shone through. This opportunity opened doors for Brit, leading to roles in international films and ultimately a successful career in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Brit Eklund has left an indelible mark in the world of cinema. Her passion for acting has remained unwavering, and she continues to inspire aspiring actors with her timeless performances in classic films. Britt Eklund stepped in to replace Marisa Mel as the leading actress in the film Stiletto. Originally, Eklund was set to play a supporting role, but she took on the lead after Mel's departure due to scheduling conflicts. In her early career, Eklund appeared in the film G.I. Blues alongside Letitia Roman and Judith Rollins. This marked the debut of all three actresses. Eklund had a high-profile affair with rocker Rod Stewart in the mid-70s. During their relationship, she sang French on his hit single Tonight's the Night. However, when Eklund discovered that Stewart had been unfaithful, she filed a 12-5 million palimony suit against him. Eklund claimed that she had given up much of her career for Stewart and deserved a significant portion of his income as compensation. The lawsuit was ultimately dismissed by the courts. Throughout her career, Eklund has been known for her versatility and range as an actress. She has appeared in a variety of film and television roles, showcasing her talent and earning critical acclaim. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, Eklund has remained a fixture in the entertainment industry and a beloved figure among fans. Britt Eklund, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born in Sweden in 1942, she experienced financial struggles, which led her to work as a switchboard operator to make ends meet. However, her determination to succeed in the film industry never wavered. Eklund's resilience was put to the test when she moved to England to pursue acting. She encountered skepticism from industry professionals who doubted her abilities due to her accent and lack of experience, but Eklund refused to let this discourage her. Instead, she took action to improve her skills, enrolling in elocution lessons to refine her accent and working tirelessly to hone her craft. One of the creative solutions Eklund found to overcome these obstacles was to immerse herself in the culture and language of the country she had adopted. She became an avid reader of English literature, which helped her to understand the nuances of the language and further develop her acting abilities. Eklund's hard work and dedication paid off when she landed her breakthrough role in the 1971 film The Wicker Man. Her performance was widely praised, and she quickly became a household name. Despite the challenges she faced early on, Eklund's resilience and determination helped her to establish a successful career in the film industry. Her story serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors and actresses, demonstrating that with hard work, dedication, and a little bit of creativity, it is possible to overcome even the most significant obstacles. Britt Eklund, the actress who gained fame as a Bond girl, was good friends with fellow Bond girl, Luciana Paluzzi. The two shared a unique bond having both worked on the popular James Bond franchise. In 1976, Eklund was invited to be one of the judges in the Miss Universe pageant, an opportunity that showcased her influence and popularity in the entertainment industry. However, Eklund's career also had its share of setbacks. She was originally cast as Ottilie Harsham Trafford in the 1971 film Quest for Love, but was eventually replaced by Joan Collins. Despite this, Eklund continued to make her mark in the film industry, appearing in numerous films and television shows throughout her career. The actress's involvement in these various projects highlights her versatility and enduring appeal, making her a beloved figure in the world of classic cinema. Eklund's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, as her work continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. Her story is a testament to the ups and downs of a career in show business and the resilience required to succeed in the face of adversity.
One of the turning points in the actress's career was her role in the classic film, The Man with the Golden Gun in 1974. This iconic Bond film brought her international recognition and established her as a sex symbol. Critics praised her performance, with one stating, Eklund's portrayal of the seductive Bond girl was captivating and added depth to the film. Her chemistry with Roger Moore was also lauded, and their scenes together became some of the most memorable in the franchise. This breakthrough moment propelled the actress's career and opened doors for future opportunities. Britt Eklund, a renowned actress, has been open about her mental health struggles. She has spoken about her battle with depression and how it affected her career and personal life. In her 29 autobiography, True Brit, she revealed that she had experienced postpartum depression after the birth of her son Niccolo in 1981. She also discussed her struggles with anxiety and how she had to seek professional help to cope with her mental health issues. Apart from her mental health struggles, Eklund has faced other challenges in her life. She has been married four times and has had high-profile relationships with famous men, including actor Peter Sellers and footballer Ted Dexter. Her personal life has often overshadowed her acting career, but she has remained a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Eklund's acting career spans over five decades, and she has appeared in numerous films and TV shows. She gained international fame in the 1970s for her role in the British crime film The Wicker Man. She has also appeared in popular TV shows such as The Love Boat and Fantasy Island. Despite the challenges she has faced, Eklund has continued to act and remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry. In recent years, Eklund has become an advocate for mental health awareness. She has spoken openly about her experiences with depression and anxiety, hoping to inspire others to seek help and break the stigma surrounding mental health issues. Her courage in sharing her story has resonated with many, and she continues to be a positive influence in the mental health community. In conclusion, Britt Eklund's life and career have been marked by both personal and professional struggles. From her battles with mental health issues to her high-profile relationships, she has faced many challenges head-on. Through it all, she has remained a resilient and respected figure in the entertainment industry, using her platform to raise awareness for mental health issues and inspire others to seek help. Britt Eklund, a Swedish actress, gained fame in the 1960s and 70s for her captivating performances in films and on television. Eklund's artistic vision and process were unique, marked by her ability to fully immerse herself in her roles. She once stated, I don't act, I become. This approach allowed her to bring a level of authenticity and depth to her characters that resonated with audiences. Eklund's personal experiences and worldview often influenced her work. For instance, her upbringing in Sweden played a significant role in shaping her artistic perspective. She once shared, Growing up in Sweden, I developed a deep appreciation for nature and simplicity, which has always informed my approach to acting. In the film The Wicker Man, Eklund's portrayal of Willow, a free-spirited and mysterious woman, showcases her ability to embody complex characters. Her performance is a testament to her versatility and commitment to her craft. Eklund's natural charisma and ability to convey emotion through subtle gestures and expressions make her a standout in this classic horror film. In addition to her film work, Eklund has also made her mark on television. Her role in the popular series The Man from UNCLE demonstrated her range as an actress and her ability to adapt to different mediums. Eklund's performance in the show is a reflection of her artistic vision and her commitment to creating memorable and engaging characters. Throughout her career, Britt Eklund has remained dedicated to her craft, continually pushing herself to explore new roles and challenge herself as an actress. Her unique approach to acting and her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters have made her a beloved figure in the world of film and television. Britt Eklund's son, T.J. McDonnell, carries a name with historical significance. Thomas Jefferson, the actress is known for her love of skiing, both on snow and water, which showcases her adventurous spirit. Throughout her life, Britt Eklund has been linked to numerous high-profile figures, including Bino Sicagna, Phil Lewis, Ryan O'Neill, Dodie Fade, John Waite, Ron Ellie, Warren Beatty, Andrew Stevens, Leslie McCown, Ted Nugent, Patrick Litchfield, Roger Earl, John Taylor, Helmut Berger, Jamie Ostos Jr., and George Hamilton. Out of these, both Hamilton and Litchfield proposed to her, but she turned them down. The actress's romantic life has been as adventurous as her love for skiing, reflecting her independent and strong-willed personality. 
Britt Eklund, the Swedish actress, gained international fame in the 1960s and 70s with her captivating performances and striking beauty. She starred in over 50 films, including the classic The Wicker Man and the popular Get Carter. Eklund's influence on the film industry is significant. Her on-screen presence and unique style brought a fresh perspective to Hollywood. According to film critic Peter Bradshaw, Eklund's performances were a breath of fresh air, her charisma and charm were undeniable, and she brought a new energy to every film she was in. The actress was also known for her glamorous and daring fashion choices, which inspired trends both on and off the screen. Her iconic looks, from her chic mod style to her bold and daring ensembles, made her a fashion icon of her time. In addition to her impact on film and fashion, Eklund also made a significant contribution to the world of television. She starred in several popular shows, including The New Avengers and High Midnight, where she showcased her versatility as an actress. Eklund's influence on the industry is still felt today, with many modern actresses citing her as an inspiration. Actress Rachel Weisz has said, Britt Eklund was a trailblazer, her performances were iconic, and she paved the way for so many of us. In conclusion, Britt Eklund's contribution to the film and television industry is undeniable. Her unique style, charisma, and talent have left a lasting impact, inspiring generations of actors and fashion icons alike. Britt Eklund, known as the ex-stepmother of Michael and Sarah Sellers, was born to Sven and Mae Britt. She was linked to Slim Jim Phantom, with whom she separated in 1992, but didn't officially divorce until 26. Eklund's acting career took off in the 1960s when she appeared in various films and television shows. Her breakthrough role came in 1971 when she starred alongside Sean Connery in the James Bond film The Man with the Golden Gun. This classic film showcased Eklund's talent and solidified her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Eklund has appeared in numerous productions, including Get Carter and The Wicker Man. She has also made appearances on popular television shows such as The Six Million Dollar Man and Fantasy Island. Despite her success, Eklund's personal life has often overshadowed her professional achievements. Her relationship with Phantom, which ended in divorce after 14 years, was highly publicized in the media. However, Eklund has continued to act and remains a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. In recent years, Eklund has appeared in various reality shows and documentaries sharing her experiences and insights from her long-standing career. Her contributions to the world of film and television have left a lasting impact, inspiring future generations of actors and actresses. As Eklund moves forward in her career, she remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Her timeless talent and enduring spirit continue to captivate audiences around the world. Whether on the big screen or the small screen, Eklund's presence is always a welcome sight for fans of classic Hollywood. Britt Eklund, the accomplished actress, is known for her work in both film and television. However, her life extends beyond the silver screen, encompassing a range of personal values and interests that inform her work. Eklund has always been passionate about animal rights and has been involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout her career. She has been a longtime supporter of the World Wildlife Fund and has used her platform to raise awareness about the importance of conservation and the protection of endangered species. In addition to her work with WWF, Eklund has also been involved in various other charitable organizations. She has been a patron of the Childline Charity in the UK, which provides support and counseling to children and young people who are in need. Eklund has also been involved in efforts to support research and treatment for breast cancer, a cause that is particularly close to her heart. Eklund's personal values and interests are deeply intertwined with her work as an actress. She has often chosen roles that reflect her commitment to social and environmental issues, using her platform to raise awareness and inspire change. One notable example is her role in the classic film The Man with the Golden Gun, in which she played the character Mary Goodnight. In this film, Eklund's character is a strong and independent woman who is unafraid to stand up for what she believes in. This portrayal of a powerful and socially conscious female character is a reflection of Eklund's own values and beliefs. Overall, Britt Eklund's life and work are informed by a deep commitment to social and environmental issues. Her philanthropic efforts and personal values have inspired her to choose roles that reflect her beliefs and to use her platform to raise awareness and inspire change. Britt Eklund's son, T.J. McDonnell, was born on March 31, 1988, to Eklund and her partner, Slim Jim Phantom. Before her acting career took off, 
Eklund had a teenage ambition of becoming a veterinarian. One notable role that Eklund turned down was in the 1976 film King Kong. She was approached by Dino De Laurentiis to play the part of Duan, but ultimately declined. Despite this, Eklund left her mark on the film industry with her numerous roles in both television and film. Eklund's dream of becoming a veterinarian may have been left unfulfilled, but her impact on the acting world is still felt today. Her decision to turn down the role in King Kong is just one example of the choices she made throughout her career, contributing to her unique path in the entertainment industry. Britt Eklund, the actress, made her mark in the film industry during the 1960s and 1970s. She became a household name with her role in the 1974 film The Man with the Golden Gun. Her Swedish heritage and striking beauty added to her allure, making her a popular choice for filmmakers. Throughout her career, Eklund appeared in over 50 films and television shows. She worked with some of the biggest names in the industry, including Bob Hope, Charles Bronson, and Sean Cannery. Her on-screen presence was captivating, and she became a symbol of glamour and sophistication. Despite retiring from acting in the late 1990s, Eklund's legacy within the industry remained strong. She paved the way for future actresses, showing them that it was possible to have a successful career in Hollywood while maintaining their individuality. As for her future contributions, Eklund has turned her attention to other passions. She has written several books, including a memoir and a guide to beauty and style. She has also become an advocate for animal rights and has worked with various charities to promote their causes. For aspiring professionals in the field, Eklund offers this advice always be true to yourself and never compromise your values. The industry can be tough, but if you stay focused and work hard, you can achieve your dreams. She also emphasizes the importance of education and encourages young actors to learn as much as they can about the craft of acting. Eklund's impact on the film industry is undeniable. Her legacy serves as a reminder of the power of individuality and the importance of staying true to oneself. As for her future contributions, Eklund continues to inspire and make a difference in the world, proving that the impact of a classic like her can truly transcend time. Britt Eklund once stated that being the leading lady in the James Bond film The Man with the Golden Gun neither helped nor hurt her career. However, it was a happy time in her life, as she was looking her best, and her children were with her. Before her role in the Bond film, Eklund was replaced by Mia Farrow for the part of Karen Erickson in Guns at Batasi. Despite this setback, Eklund continued to make her mark in the film industry. Eklund penned her biography, True Brit, sharing her personal experiences and insights from her life and career. The actress has had a varied and interesting career, with many memorable roles in both film and television. Her contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be appreciated by audiences today. As for The Man with the Golden Gun, it remains a classic Bond film, with Eklund's performance still remembered fondly by fans. The film's success is a testament to Eklund's talent and appeal as an actress, and it is just one example of her many accomplishments in the entertainment industry. Britt Eklund's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to passion and perseverance. Born in Sweden in 1942, she started her career as a model before transitioning to acting. Eklund quickly gained recognition for her work, appearing in films like The Night They Raided Minsky's and Get Carter. Her innovative spirit was evident in her diverse range of roles, from comedic performances to more serious dramas. Eklund's talent and dedication earned her a place as a respected actress in both Sweden and Hollywood. One of Eklund's most notable contributions to the industry was her role in the classic film The Wicker Man. Her performance in this film, along with her other work, has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Throughout her career, Eklund faced challenges and obstacles, but she never let them deter her from pursuing her passion. Her story is a powerful reminder of the importance of creativity and perseverance. Eklund's enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a result of her talent, hard work, and dedication to her craft. She will always be remembered as a trailblazer who left an indelible mark on the world of film and television. In the end, it is clear that Britt Eklund's legacy will continue to resonate for generations to come. Her story is a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and the importance of pursuing one's passions, no matter the challenges that may arise. Britt Eklund's romantic connections are quite interesting. Two of her ex-boyfriends, George Hamilton and Rod Stewart, have been married to Alana Stewart. In the 1973 film, The Wicker Man, Eklund's singing voice was dubbed by Annie Ross. 
This classic film is well known for its eerie atmosphere and twist ending. At the young age of 15, Eklund appeared in a toothpaste commercial. After attending drama school for two years, she began to secure small parts in films and television. Eventually, she toured Sweden with a traveling theater company, further honing her acting skills. Britt Eklund, the accomplished actress, showcased her linguistic skills by being fluent in English, Italian, French, and German. This versatility was evident in her work, as she navigated various roles with ease. During the filming of the James Bond film, The Man with the Golden Gun, she formed a close bond with her Swedish co-star, Maude Adams. In the opening scene of the night, they raided Minsky's, Eklund rode the L in Manhattan, an integral part of NYC's subway system. The L's, as they were known, were lines above ground, and their removal from Manhattan's east side in the late 50s left only buses or the Lexington Ave, lines for transportation. The difficulty of digging a subway line in a city with limited space made completing even a minor portion of the second Ave. Line a 75-year endeavor, which finally opened in 2017. Eklund's character, Rachel Spitendavel, rode the L's to the Lower East Side area, showcasing the classic New York experience. The L's were a bustling landscape of their own, with trains traveling above ground, adding to the city's vibrant tapestry. Eklund's performance in this classic film resonated with audiences, leaving an indelible mark in the world of cinema. Her ability to embody a character and bring a story to life was a testament to her enduring impact and intrigue. Britt Eklund, a well-known actress, made the decision to quit smoking in 1979. This choice likely had a positive impact on her health, as she has since been diagnosed with osteoporosis, a condition that weakens bones and can lead to fractures. Unfortunately, this condition contributed to an accident she had at the Caring Music Awards in London in 2000. As Eklund was making her way to the stage to present the Hall of Fame award to Marilyn Manson, she fell and fractured her ankle and broke her wrist. Despite this setback, Eklund has continued to stay active in her career. She has three younger brothers, one of whom is Carl Eklund. Her large and supportive family is likely a source of strength for her as she navigates the ups and downs of the entertainment industry. Britt Eklund shares something unique with fellow Bond girls Ursula Andress, Lana Wood, Michelle Phillips, and Julie Christie. They all dated the same men at different times. As a teenager, Eklund's resemblance to Bridget Bardo earned her work as a lookalike. One of her notable relationships was with Lou Adler, a record producer with whom she had a son, Mike Adler, on June 10, 1973. The actress's life and relationships have left an indelible mark in the world of classic Hollywood. Delving into the intricacies of her connections with other celebrities paints a fascinating picture of the intertwining lives of the rich and famous. The relationships and experiences of Britt Eklund continue to resonate in the annals of Hollywood history. Britt Eklund, whose real name is Britton Marie Eklund, had a unique nickname as a young girl, Dumbo, due to her large ears. Just 10 days after meeting Peter Sellers, the two got married, starting a whirlwind romance. In the 1973 film, The Wicker Man, Eklund's character is seen dancing around naked and singing, attempting to seduce Edward Woodward's character. However, Eklund was pregnant at the time, and a body double had to be used for some of the shots. This classic film remains a favorite among fans, and Eklund's performance is still celebrated today. In 2013, Britt Eklund became a grandmother for the first time when her daughter-in-law, Allison Adler, gave birth to a baby boy named Cash. Two years later, in 2015, Lucas, her second grandson, was born. The actress has also had a successful film career, including her role as Rachel Sackentabel in The Night They Raided Minsky's. Despite the topless scene in the film, Eklund used a body double for the shot. Eklund has faced personal hardships, including the loss of her mother in 1995 due to Alzheimer's disease. Since then, she has been actively involved with the Alzheimer's Disease Association, raising awareness about the illness. Throughout her life, Britt Eklund has navigated both personal and professional challenges, leaving a lasting impact in the world of film and in her advocacy work. In the film The Life and Death of Peter Sellers, Charlie Theron portrayed the actress Britt Eklund. Together, they had a daughter named Victoria Sellers, who was born in January 1965. Later, in December 1996, the actress decided to auction off some of her belongings at Christie's. The auction brought in a total of 146000 Throughout her career, Britt Eklund has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her performance in the life and death of Peter Sellers was just one example of her talent and versatility as an actress. As a mother, Eklund brought new life into the world 
creating a legacy that extends beyond her own accomplishments. Her daughter, Victoria, carries on that legacy today. The auction of Eklund's belongings served as a testament to her enduring impact on the world of film. The items sold at Christie's were more than just material possessions. They were pieces of a classic career that continues to resonate with audiences today. Through her work and her family, Britt Eklund has created a lasting legacy that will not be forgotten. Her contributions to the film industry and her role as a mother have left an indelible mark on the world. Let's take a moment to appreciate the actress Britt Eklund and her significant contributions to the world of entertainment. With a career spanning over five decades, Eklund has left an indelible mark in the industry. She first gained recognition in the 1960s for her role in the film The Night Caller. Eklund's charm and talent captured audiences' attention, leading to more opportunities in both film and television. Throughout her career, she has worked with some of the most prominent figures in Hollywood, including Charles Bronson, Sean Cannery, and Peter Sellers. Her performance in the 1974 film The Wicker Man remains a classic, showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. Eklund's impact extends beyond her on-screen roles. She has been an advocate for various causes, including animal rights and environmental issues. Her dedication and passion have inspired many, making her a true role model. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Britt Eklund's work and legacy? Share your comments below, and let's celebrate this accomplished actress together. And if you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe for more articles celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create engaging and informative content for you to